goodness. It is pouring out. These guys look like sorry mops, mop heads, and I look like a shower clog. Holy cow. Um, like they're soaked, soaked. I need to go get another towel. I can't use that dirty one from yesterday. Holy cow. That was intense. <laughs> At least they both peed. I couldn't stay waiting for them to poop. I don't think they would anyways because it's like torrential, it feels like. Holy cow. Ooh, I look like a mess, don't I? I think it stopped raining now, but it's supposed to be rainy like that all day. <clears throat> These guys just had their breakfast. I gave them some kibble and some like that canned meat mixed together. I had my coffee. It's only like quarter to seven. I got up early because when you got dogs, baby dogs especially, you either sleep in and clean up a mess on the floor or you take them out. So I took them out. <clears throat> but I'm having a coffee. I got the downstairs to myself. I put on funny animal, animal videos like funny pets, cats, dogs. That one's a cow. You know what I mean? Just funny animal videos instead of the relaxing. We'll switch it up for now. But I'm going to have my coffee. It's Saturday. Dad should be coming out today. And yeah, that was quite the adventure. Hmm. I'm just going to try to catch what they look like. Violet. Yeah, like the top poof is all hung down. She looks like, uh, what's her name from the Muppets? Oh, for, for heaven's sakes. Boris. There. See, her poof is like mushroom cut or something. Yeah, she's all wet, so. You're not jumping up here right now there, sister. And he's just just as bad. All right, guys, it's 7.55. Um, I've really kind of just been a bump. Look at these two. Watching funny animal videos. Um, I'm going to take towels. There's a towel rack right there. Towels down and try to tidy up a little bit. There's one. There's one. It's not bad out here, but a lot of dog toys. And there's a laundry basket there with clothes on it that needs to be folded. So I'll fold that up. Just, just to bring it back to zero or as close to as I can. So, yeah. All right, guys. Not all done, but I vacuumed. I swept all the wood here. I even swept the, oh, here, all the wood and the bathroom. And I vacuumed, oh, here and oh, here. I just lifted that laundry up on the rocking chair and I just took Boris out. He did fantastic. This time he didn't go hide. He didn't come up close, but he stayed in the room. He did come up to my feet a few times, but he wasn't stressing out or anything. At least it didn't seem to be. So that's good. And of course, Violet, the vacuum doesn't fizz her at all, but he's getting more used to it, which is fantastic. Cause you know, I like to vacuum. All right. So let's go on out here. I was working on the kitchen. I swept the floor. Eh? And here's a, one of those shelves I brought in yesterday. It's not going to stay here, but Medea painted that when she was younger. It was a tabletop. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. Um, I also kept this. I think this, this was over in the shop, the other house, when we moved in. It was just a... You see? See what it is? Let me come over in the light. It's like a keyhole from a door. And in my mind, I was like, I gotta keep that. This probably came from a magic door, Misha. They had to take it out because it goes to a fantastical world that we're just Maybe not ready to. Uh, oh, maybe. Fantastical world that we're not ready to explore yet. But when we are, it's we'll put it back in a door. That's where the doorknob went. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I thought it was cool. So I'm keeping it. You never know when we need to go to a fantastical world, huh? Yeah, the ladies agree. All right, and here I wet the table off. I swept the floor. That air conditioner is still sitting right there. But I got the dishwasher going. And, yeah, I got a... What? Maze is awake. Well, he'll come down when he's ready. All right, so, yeah, I'm done all this. It's 8.52, so got a big chunk. I also wiped the bathroom counter off and sink out. And I open that door just so it gives a little more, I don't know, they, they can go stick their noses up to the door if they want. 
I will fold that laundry after. And Misha's awake. All right, friends. I was about to go out to the compost and bring the dogs out, but it's pouring again, so I'm going to wait until it slows down a bit. <sighs> Boris, what are you doing? Um, anyways, I was looking at my freezers. What can I do for supper? What can I do for supper? There he is. Um, I have some kebabs. Here's a pork one and a chicken one. Usually I do this with rice and egg rolls or something, but I'm going to do a smorgasbord of things. I have leftover carrots and potatoes, I think, from last night's pork supper. We'll have this and whatever else I can muster up, but this is easy. I do it in the oven. I forget, like, 400 or something for 20 minutes. 425, 16 to 18 minutes turning once. So they're frozen solid. Got them 50% off, of course, and that'll be for supper tonight. Right. It's 9.30. We actually did end up going out. I wore that, I know what you did last summer, raincoat that goes all the way down to my ankles. And these guys are all wet again, but took care of business. So I'm going to fold, watch out, Mace. Fold that rocking chair full of laundry. And I'll get straggles, bits of laundry, and do a load after. But the dishwasher's still going right now, so... Oh, and I brought the compost out, so hip hip hurry about that one. All right, he's going right in between my legs. I think I might hold on that laundry now that I think that, because when I sit down, those guys tend to play and try to run through the piles, playing with one another, and they're wet, and I don't want the clothes to smell like wet dog. All right, watch out. So I'll hold on that for a little while. Look at these two. Yeah, and there's Boris down there. All right, I went up to get some straggles, so I got a load of laundry going. All right, I folded that big basket here. Violet's looking for any more leftovers from Boris. There's a few straggle kibble bits, but and Manly just put uh, Boris out for a pee, no, and no. yeah. We're good. I'm going to check the dryer. I don't know if there's stuff in the dryer that needs folding before I start calling people to come get their piles, but we'll see. All right. Those clothes are away out there. It's like 11.25. Boris is resting with my slippers. He likes it down there with them instead of up here with us, but that's okay. And I just have some animal little doggy videos on. And I'm just taking a little rest, and then I'll figure out what we're going to do for supper, or for lunch. Probably sandwiches or something easy. That's that's how I'm feeling anyways. But I did get that other load of laundry out of the dryer and folded that up along with the other stuff before it was put away. That wash is going, and I have enough for another wash, maybe two, after that one's done. And then we'll be all caught up. I spoke, Misha's going to a birthday party sleepover tonight. I spoke to the mom, and it's like 5 o'clock. She was like, she can come earlier if you're in town. I shouldn't say that too loud. But we need to stop and get a present when we go in, and I'll probably stop and get stuff for the upcoming week, you know, just if I need anything. We need milk. We need some bread. We need butter. And by that time of the day... I doubt if I'll get any, like, 50% off deals, but I'll see what I can find. And, yeah, I'll probably leave the pups home so I don't have to leave um, them in the van. But we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we didn't even hear Papa come in. Oh. Boris heard ya. He was the first one out here. Yay, Papa! <laughs> He's so excited. Oh, Misha and Mally are getting out the hall already. Martin just left. Did you see him? Yeah. Yeah. He's going back to the city. Is he? Yeah. Wait. Sorry. <sighs> Quite muggy out, isn't it? Oh. 
Where is he? he? He's over there behind Papa. All right. Well, let's see. Boris has his bone. Violet took hers out there, but we got some barbecue chips and some cheese puffs. Move your plate. Some homemade sprinkled donuts. Papa homemade celebration donuts. And Papa's glazed donuts. Ooh, Dad, those look good. I made them yesterday. Did you? Yeah. Jeepers, creepers. Some Skittles, some Freezies, some strawberry candies, some butter toffees, some sour neon worms. Uh, I need to take a picture first. Yeah. Nordic berries, jelly beans, double lollies, some chocolate cookies, some Easter chocolates, some chocolate loonies, some butterscotch candies, some chocolate sticks, and some peppermint or York peppermint patties. Woo, that's a lot. Oh, and the pops. Two orange pops, a Diet Pepsi, and a 7-Up. What do we say to Papa? Thank you, Papa. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, no, you're not getting a sour worm. No, sir. Probably. I don't know, but he doesn't need anything to wind him up even more. <laughs> Get going. Violet's out there eating her bone. Uh-huh. No. These are sour ones. <laughs> These ones are the sour ones. Are they? The yellow and orange ones? <laughs> He's going after. To torment Violet, I bet. <laughs> He's just full of piss and vinegar. All right, Violet, look. Mate's put his hat on her. Toronto Raptors. <laughs> Violet! Oh, so cool. Misha, don't. All right, guys, we're in town. Okay, now do it. Roll it up. Oh, son of a... Okay. Don't touch it. All right. I have Misha here. I left Violet home because we're stopping to the dollar store. Um, stopping to a friend's place to pick up some cheese whiz. She got on sale. and She can only use one. I asked if I want it. I said, sure, I'll take it. Just a minute, Misha. Then I'm going to drop her. Then I'm going to stop to Superstore on the way out. So, Yeah. I gotta go find a present for Maple. She's going to her sleepover. So, birthday present, birthday party sleepover. All right, let's go. All right, we made it out of there. And we got some doozies. This is the bag we got. Isn't it cute? Okay. Misha picked it out. And on the back is the back of the pig. So I'll show you. Oh, it has a bow on its butt. It can't be picked out. Some Doritos. Uh, a sketch pad. This is dollar seventy-five. Those chips were two fifty. This knockoff slinky won't last five minutes, but still kind of a neat toy to get. A metal fidget spinner. A pineapple cup. How cool is that? A whoopee cushion. Oh, you know what we forgot? It doesn't matter now. It's silly putty. Uh, yeah. Like, gonna get... For sure, we're going to get I silly know. putty. Whoopee cushion. Some sloth socks. Oh, the other one's in there. I'm going to put it back together. Here's the card Misha picked out. Isn't it cute? And it says, Did somebody say cake? So. Take that over there because we got to see if there's a pen in the van. A chocolate toonie. Not a birthday, a chocolate this is toonie. pretty cool. A package of gel pens. They were four dollars. Twenty-four gel pens. That's awesome. A red Gatorade. Oh, just a minute. Nisha's got to pass it to me. I already. Yeah, red Gatorade. One of these sour squirt 
grenades. Misha had got one too, a green, green apple. <laughs> this is blue raspberry. Misha said she likes arrow bars. So do I. Jelly lifesaver gummies. Other sock. There's the other sock. They were $1.25. <clears throat> oh, a stretchy <laughs> banana. And one of these, oh, like you know, pans. Oh, yeah. And some red nail polish. Is that everything? Yep. Yes, it is. So it's a combination of a whole bunch of different things. Do you think she'll like it? Misha's, can they see you? I can't see. Spraying that stuff in her mouth. <laughs> Your tongue's turning green. Anyways, we're going to pack this up. We'll head there in a minute, but we've got to see if we can find a pen for that card. Yes, I will. Um, I had to run back in to get some pens. Here they are. Let me just show them. They were two for a dollar, and I couldn't find a pen in this van. So, and I got some tape so we can tape the top of that bag together. I didn't buy tissue paper to uh, make it all fancy, but this I can keep using at my house. I always need some tape. You never know when you need to tape something up. Tape somebody's yap shut, Misha. <laughs> she rolls her eyes. Anyway, she's going to fill out the card. And we'll tape up the bag, and then we'll go drop her off. Oh, and while I was in there to get the pen and tapes, I did pick up the Silly Putty. It's $1.25, so I'm going to stick that in the bag. Oh, coming up to the stop sign, I'll move that stuff. We're going to go find Misha's sleepover house. I don't know exactly where it is, but kind of know where it is. <sighs> but uh, it's very close to... Her other friend, just a second. Yes, it's green. You look like George the Animal Steve. Uh, I wasn't even recording all that time, Misha. We were talking. <laughs> all right, well, we're on our way. <laughs> I was driving, showing you a little bit of the town. To our right is the main downtown. Ugh. This keeps shutting off and turning back on. But, anyways, yeah, when my. Uh, when Martin and I first moved in together, back when I was 18, we lived in a little hole-in-the-wall apartment that, uh, yeah, it, it was nothing fancy at all. Okay, Misha, I'm going to turn up here. Turn up, there's Riley's house up there. Okay. And anyways, yeah, but I think we paid $280, $60 a month. But that was way back when. But y'all gotta start what somewhere, happened? right? It's 20 to 5. She said you can come early anytime. Do you know which door to go in? Because this is several different apartments. Several? I think so. Alright guys, I just dropped Misha off. And uh, whatever she's cooking in there sure smells good, I can tell you that much. Alright, All right. Uh, we made it. Or I made it. To Superstore, so I'm gonna go in there. Um, I need to get butter. Misha Mally wants some cottage cheese, roast beef, like she wants to make subs. So I'm gonna get stuff left for that for supper. So um, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do, and whatever else I can find. Made it back home. Um, Mally laid out the groceries. I'll show you when I get in, but I'm letting these guys blow off some steam. All right, Maze. All right, you guys are going to get hit by the soccer ball. Okay. All right, me and Violet are ready. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. Gosh. Oh! <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> right in Mally's side. Oh. Every time anything soccer related is near me. Okay, you got to wait a second because Boris is trying to follow my feet and I don't want to kick him across the field oh they've gone down back hey ding dongs why can't you get it he thinks you're playing <laughs> can you grab the leash Violet get out of there your paws are all dirty yeah, it's time to go in. in. We've been out about 15. Come on. Wait, it's a smorgasbord. 
So I'll quickly show you what I got. So I got some of this, two packs of roast beef for subs, submarine buns. I got some 50% off bananas that seem really good. I need to take a picture. Let me take a picture, then you can. All right, they don't look too bad. We'll eat them up in the next day or two. I got three Lunchables for on Monday, so it just makes my mind easier. Two Jello packs, two things of frozen spinach, a thing of drumsticks, 571, some lettuce for the subs. Uh, yeah, two strawberry cream cheese, fruit snacks, and fruit gushers for uh, lunches. That's Papa stuff. I got pepperoni pouches, like pizza pop things. These little baby mini cucumbers, 50% off. They seem okay. I thought they'd be good for a tray or something. Some tomatoes. Those were $7.99, I think. Expensive, but could be a lot more expensive. Um, for subs, I got some margarine, 18 eggs, some cottage cheese. Um, you could buy one English cucumber for $1.99 or a three pack that was on sale for $2.49. So I got a three pack. I got two things of cheese. I don't know where the other one is. Uh, maybe it fell out in the... Did you find two packs of cheese? It's still in that black bag. Oh, okay. Two things of frozen diced onions. Get out of the laundry room. Another thing of drumsticks. We'll probably have that uh, in the next day or two. Five forty-nine. dollars um, Two pretzel and cheese things from Superstore. And a bunch of Michelinas were on for $0.99. Cents. I think I got five uh, chicken fried rice and four penne polo. $0.99. Cents. That's pretty good. And they don't get these a whole lot. And then at the dollar store, I got some cosmic brownies. Two things of plain bagels to go with that cream cheese. Two loaves of bread. I bought these. I thought I could use those for subs, but whatever. We'll figure something out. Well, some zebra nice. cakes. I'll yeah. Those. Uh, four thi three things of Oreo cookie snacks. And three things of one granola of bars. Ahoy. Oh, one of them's Chips Ahoy. Okay, two Oreo, one Chips Ahoy. And I got two cases of carbonated water and a case of canned dog food to mix with their kibble, which is out in the porch. So not a whole lot of 50% off stuff, but the bananas and cucumbers were. So anyways, this all has to go away. Now, I know I took those uh, kebabs out for supper. I'm not going to do those tonight because it's getting late. It's almost 6 o'clock. I'll probably give them the option of pizza pops or Michelinas and some cucumbers something like that for supper oh and there's a big thing of cheese whiz here i didn't buy this my friend velva called she had a rain check for them at sobeys they're regular 13 dollars. she got them for 5.97 so she said i only need one so i have one here for you so i stopped by her house and picked that up so that's good we don't use that a whole lot but now we have some all right this does not look fancy at all um there's two pizza pops and cucumbers. I'm going to ask if anybody wants a ham sandwich. I have two ham sandwiches left. And there's bananas and whatever. But it's just going to be a smorgasbord of stuff like this. Allie made a nice big sub. That looks good. There's tomatoes, cucumbers, hot peppers, is it? Yeah, banana peppers. Banana peppers. Mayonnaise and mustard. No mayonnaise. No mayonnaise. It's but, roast beef, yeah. lettuce, tomato. Peppers and cucumber. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Oh, and at the dollar store, I got some coconut milk to replace that coconut milk I used the last time I made curry. So, yeah, got that for the pantry. All right, I just rotated the laundry, got another wash going. The dishwasher's going too, and everybody's had supper, so hit hooray. Goes in tight. All right, these are the ones I can find that have kind of burgundy. This one is a little shorter, so I don't know if it would fit. It's like reddish burgundy. This one is gray, but it has bits of burgundy in it. Same with this one. Same with this one. And that's kind of blackish gray, or blackish burgundy. Those are the only ones I can find. Oh, and there, there's this red one, too. But it doesn't seem real big. Oh, 
well, good morning, friends. It's the next day. I just got back from, from the morning walk with the pups. We went up the road. They both took care of both things of their business, which is fantastic. Uh, they're just eating breakfast now. I gave them a cup of kibble and a quarter of a can of that canned dog food. And then they get the other quarter each um, later on today. So they each get half a can of that meat dog food plus kibble. And then Boris has a little more kibble later on and stuff. Plus there's some snacks and, you know, treats and stuff. But anyways, we just got back. Um, we seen Ann and Elliot walking on our way back. Violet was a little hairy, but Boris loves seeing Elliot. He's such a gentle dog. Violet's all like protective or whatever. So I was holding her. She was sounding the alarm. Boris was jumping ecstatically, uh, just sniffing Elliot. He's fine for him to, I mean, he's mostly immunized anyways or vaccinated any, anyway, anyways. But he, like, he's all up to date and everything. But, um, yeah, so that was kind of nice. But I'm, yeah, like I said, gave him their breakfast. I'm going to make a coffee now. All right, don't mind DB there. He had a rough night. He was crawling his way to the bathroom, but... Anyways, I have my coffee. Last night I stayed up a little later and I didn't check in with you guys, but I watched Tin Star season three. I had watched binge watched season one and two, I don't know, over a year ago, maybe two years ago. And I had been dying for this last season to come out. It's on Amazon Prime. I think it used to be on. I thought it was on Netflix, but maybe not. I don't know if all the seasons. Yeah, all the seasons are on Prime. Maybe it was on Prime, but Anyways, season three is out, like the finale, and I watched two episodes. Um, this episode is 44 minutes. I think the other ones were a little bit longer, like 50 minutes or something. It's only six episodes, so I think I'm going to have my coffee and watch an episode now, unless the kids get up, because, you know, they're not going to really want to watch all this stuff, but I'm going to have my coffee. The pups don't seem to mind. They were with me all last night, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, guys, I watched one episode. Maze got up, so I shut it down after that last episode. Um, so I have two more, two more to watch, and I will most likely watch them today or this evening. Date night with me and my pups. And, yeah, so I got him some brekkie, and I just messaged Marquise and Kara. I said, I need, I know, happy prom day. It's uh, prom time. Uh, Kara graduates this year. It's prom. Marquise didn't have a prom because it was locked down when he graduated. Medea had a prom, but she didn't go to it. She didn't not interested in it. So it's very exciting, and I want to follow them in <laughs> to take pictures. But I know Kara's mom will be there, so if I can, I'll take um, I'll get pictures from them. But Marquise is going with Kara, obviously. But I messaged them. They're just upstairs. I'm like, I really, really, really need the back of the truck emptied off with all that brush because there's branches and stuff on there because our other house sells officially closes on Wednesday which is super exciting there's not much left over at the house but I need to go over there tomorrow there's a big old carpet cleaner there and a couple of garbage bags I need to put on back of the truck I want to sweep out the porch or the shop and I just want to go in and wipe the counters and stuff down and I need the truck, so I wanted to catch them before they got all gussied up. I mean, it's only morning time. I promise until later this evening, but they could go do that. Just drive the truck down behind the house and put the brush down by the campfire. That's it. They don't have to do anything else. Just drive it down there, throw it off back of the truck so I can have the truck. And me and the pups can go over there tomorrow. I'll tether them outside because I don't want little dog prints all over the house. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow. And... It'll be done. I just want it, the house to smell fresh. I'll open the windows. Um, things like that. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I mean, I could do it, but I don't think it's my... Yeah, they can do it. They can do it. I can be the designator. So, anyways, I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, guys, I haven't checked in in a bit. It's... 11 o'clock. I just picked Misha up from her party and she was partying all night. I have Boris and Violet with me. They were so good. No, you're not getting on my lap, Violet. And um, they were so good riding in. He's getting so good on drives now. 
like no whining or anything. He likes to sit with Violet though, and that's fine. But uh, Violet hopped up here. Yeah, she's sitting on Misha. Uh, but we're at McDoobie's getting. I'm gonna get the kids happy meals. Oh, Misha. Punch buggy, no punch back. Seatbelts, no returns. There's a punch buggy up there. Uh, Sucker. Oh, Boris, look at it. Yeah. Anyways, I'm getting the kids happy meals. I it's around lunchtime, and I don't feel like making anything. I'm gonna do those kebabs for supper, and that way I can get back, feed them, and then Mazai's having a shower, Maze is having a bath. <laughs> Misha will have a shower later, and so will Mally, and be ready for school tomorrow. Oh, and I did pack the kids' lunches, so hip, hip, hooray. I'm ahead of the game with that, buying that uh, those Lunchables yesterday. I'll put those in their kettles tomorrow, but yeah. Anyways, it's a beautiful sunny ever day. If you find a natural one, you have to get those. Yeah, I don't see those very often. I know. Um, it's really warm out. I wore this jacket I should not have. It's, uh, it's really warm out, but anyways, she had a blast, which is great. And yeah, anyways, I'll check in in a bit. We're just in the lineup. Ooh, all right, guys, we made it back. They got their meals, Misha and Messiah got burgers. Or no. Mom, did Messiah get hers? Yes. Okay. I got two chicken nugget ones, two hamburger ones. May's got chicken nuggets. What did you get, chicken nuggets? Yeah. And I got uh, the other two, hamburger, cheeseburger ones. I'm having a lime carbonated water but yeah anyways it's hot i just filled up a nice big bucket of cold water and they're getting their fill that's for sure oh now you're bored you're trying to bite my head yeah there he is but he did really good in the van oh violet and yeah i really want to go in when it's prom time it's at the pines resort marquise used to work there actually but it's like a fancy resort here and i don't know We'll see. Marquise, I'm assuming, is taking the van, and then I'd have to drive the big old bad truck, which, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I'll talk to them about it. I just, I want to see them. But if Crystal's going to be there, that should be fine. But it would be nice to go. It's the closest thing I've ever come to a prom since my own prom that actually my husband, or, you know, common law husband Martin and I went to the prom together. But, anyways, yeah, Medea could have went. But her and her, well, Evie's daddy, uh, they went out for supper. She was dressed in a nice dress, and she just wasn't wasn't her thing at all. And I get it. It's not everybody's thing. Boris, stop eating the co uh, the picnic table. Anyway, it is hot. It's hot. It's like 25 degrees. I'm going to take this thing off so I can get a little sun on my shoulders. But I'm not going to stay out here too, too long. At least there's not any black flies right now. I should knock on wood. Boris, knock on the wood for me. And... Misha, you got to take that sweater off if you're going to be outside. I get hot looking at you. Anyways, I'll be back. It is hot. Okay, let me see. Mally's out here now. And she brought out this little jar of cut up. The, if you've seen, well, yeah, you've seen my haul yesterday, those little baby cucumbers. Most of them are gone. I put the rest in their lunches. Um, anyways. Uh, Mally had this little jar that had um, pickled shishitos, peppers. peppers, and she came out with this, and I was like, oh, that's cool, small. She used those little cucumbers and made, like, refrigerator pickles with vinegar and salt, and I just tried one, and they smell, or they taste amazing. I'm just like, I should have bought all the 50% off ones and made pickles. I wasn't even thinking. Way to go, Mally. Great. So she put those on her sandwiches and stuff. So. I didn't. I just ate them. Oh, well, when you make a sandwich, you can put them on or just eat them. I know I could eat this whole jar. I could too. Mm. Did you look up a recipe about yep. how much? You just put vinegar and salt. Yep. And that was it. Yep. <laughs> they taste delicious. They really do. Oh, and it's God. a cute little jar. <laughs> but you can see by the label, this isn't pickled dill pickles or anything. But that's exactly... Well, there's not dill in there, but it's like vinegar, vinegar cucumbers. You know how people put vinegar and salt on their cucumbers? That's what it tastes like, and it tastes good. Smarty pants. Look at Now, they both had a, half that bucket, of course, but, uh, Boris knocked it over. Where is it? Right next to you. Here. So it's not like they haven't had water. They've had a lot of water, but yeah. We'll go in in a little while. 
but they're fine now. Look what Misha got at the birthday party. I haven't seen this since I was a kid, that pink popcorn. That's so cool. Tidying up, but look at this picture. I need to get in the sun. Maze Drew. I don't know. No, that's not good either. There, you can kind of see it. Seven years old. Oh, I got some talented grin. I know I'm biased, but that's looking pretty sharp to me. I couldn't do it. Oh, um, Narquise and Kara came down. And I am going to go to the prom thing tonight, which is very exciting. So I'm going to have a shower after. I'm not going to get all dolled up because I don't really do that these days. But I'll pretty much wear the same thing, only a fresh version. Put my hair up a bit. Put a little <coughs> mascara on. <clears throat> but I have a collection of boots. Look at the scratch. I lifted Boris up today. It was my own fault. Moved him from one seat to another in the van. That's what that's from. <laughs> but, anyways, I have a collection of boots. Like, funky boots, and I really like them. So I brought them in there uh, with Marquise and Kara. I'm like, what boots should I wear? <clears throat> and they're all different funky 80s style looking punk rocker kind of boots. Kind of. Anyways, one pair is red, like burgundy, and that's what the color of her dress is, and Marquise's tie. They're like, oh, you should wear those ones, so they'll, they'll match. I'm like, okay, I'm going to wear those. Um, so that's kind of exciting. So I'm glad that they don't mind me coming. Her mom will be there, too, and I think one of her sisters. But that way we can all get pictures and stuff, so I'm going to charge you guys up because I don't want any battery failure or anything like that. I will drive the truck in, and... I'll go in style. Country bumpkin style. Yeah, big old bad truck. Mismatched patch quilt truck. But it's inspected, it works, and it's mighty fine piece of machinery. So, anyways, I'm going to jump in the shower here shortly. All right, I just backed the truck, like, down in front of the, you know, swing set between the cherry tree, tree back to here. So the campfire's there. All that brush can be thrown off there and then the back of the truck will be free but I'm not doing the chucking I just did the driving there's Marquise and Mazed in there clearing off the back of the truck Ooh, at least it's in the shade but it is mighty hot out there oh there's Maze and Boris snuggling kind of chatting oh uh, that's right here but just hanging out all right, guys, we were outside. Oh, I should fill you in, but I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do now. These are kebabs I took out yesterday. These ones are pork. Those ones are chicken. I'm going to put them all on the same pan. And I think it's 425 for 20 minutes or so. Yeah, 425, uh, 10 to 12 minutes. Oh, that's fry pan. 16 to 18 minutes turning once. So I'll flip them in. I don't know. Since I'm doing two packs, I'll flip them in 10 minutes and put them in for another 10 minutes. And they'll be done. But I did have a shower. Maze did have a bath. Marquise and Kara are gone, but I see she left her high heel shoes, so I'll go in a little early so she can have them in there for the picture. She said she's not dancing them because they're, they're high. I'm just like, there's no way. No friggin' way. But they're beautiful. Look at those. Cinderella much? But they're really pretty. But um, put an eye out with something like this. I said, I'll bring them in. And they're going out to the pines for around 5.30. So I'll leave here around 5, meet them. She can put them on for the pictures, and then she has different shoes for the dance. So that's good. But I'm going to get these on the pan while the oven's preheating. And, oh, we just brought in the pups from outside doing running around. It's hot. It's hot like an armpit outside. All right, there it is. Just waiting for the oven to come up and I'll put it in. Um, here's what supper's gonna be, is some cucumber, a pork kebab, a chicken kebab, and some leftover carrots from the other night. They're still good, I heated them up nice and hot. So, that's one Zaya's. All right, guys, uh, Mally made some awesome looking um, roast beef subs. She didn't want kebabs, so they look good. She's outside with Boris now. 
It's 427. I think I might have a coffee. I did put some mascara on, wash my face, put some cream. That's why I'm a little shiny. But that's all I'm gonna that's all I'm gonna do. But I'll have my big black sunglasses and yeah, I just talked to my husband. We bought a truck. I don't think I told you. Like a secondhand truck that we're getting worked on. And we'll still have our other big bad truck till that dies. But we bought a it's one of those extended cab. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I would drive a barrel if it works. I don't care, but it's a big, fancy truck. Not brand new, like I said, but a nice one. Anyways, there was another one for sale. Like I used one like for parts for a reasonable price. So he's like, should we get it? I said, I don't know. Talk to It's up to you and his brothers if they think it's a good idea. They're mechanics, right? And um, we might get that, but... Anyways, he's he's in the city, and I think I might have a coffee because I'm feeling sleepy, feeling sleepy, and I don't want to go into town sleepy, so I might have one of those um, French vanilla cappuccinos or something, you know, those little envelope packs I got 50% off, or there's Cafe Mocha. I don't find those have a lot of zip, though, like what you'd think. They don't really do anything for me. Maybe I should just have a regular coffee. I don't know. I'm going to have something before I go in. I'm leaving in about a half hour. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to go. I painted my thumbnail black to make me feel better. And I live vicariously through Karen uh, Marquis of excitement of going to a dance prom. Um, I threw on a squirt of this exclamation perfume. I got that from Allie for Christmas last Christmas. You know, exclamation, or it could have been... Oh, what was that Debbie Gibson one? Electric Youth. Or there was another one. One down. one down. Sonic something? I don't know. But there, Violet, you go out. She knows I'm going somewhere. Come on, Violet. She knows you're going to leave her, Mom. I know. Boris, stay here. Stay here. Here, Boris. Ah. <laughs> uh, right. So I'm going to go out in the truck. All right. I'm on my way out having a little bit of a angst it's just me I'm gonna have to talk to people well I'm not gonna have to in my mind I feel like everybody's gonna talk to me and it's not a big deal I'm just not I'm used to my talking to myself or my dogs or my family but it's gonna be exciting when I'm there to see all the young people all dressed dolled up gussied up with a pretty stick yeah, it's going to be good. I got the high heel eye poke odor shoes. And um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I got a bottle of water. I don't want to drink it all because then I'll have to use the bathroom. And then I, I always worry about when I go places, where's the bathroom? Are any of you like that? I think it's my age. I think it must be my age because I never thought of that when I was younger. But I think of it now, baby. Anyways, let's boogie. Okay, I made it. There's some young people there all dressed up. I don't think Marquise and those guys are here yet. But I backed into a parking spot, so I should be able to get out easy when it comes time. So, yeah, I was jamming to Prince all the way in, screaming to the top of my lungs, because the, the windows were open, so my hair's a, all sideways. I'll have to, it's nothing fancy anyways, but. I, uh. Yeah, it was, it's the diamonds and pearls, you know, cream, get off that album. And yeah, screaming with the air blowing. And yeah, feeling better now, just now that I'm here. Yeah, All right, there's a lot of people here. Ooh, there's Marquise. Look at Kara, she looks so beautiful. Wow, so beautiful. But the parking lot's full and everything. Look. Well, we just want to go up in front of flowers. Okay, we're going to take pictures in 10 minutes. Okay. It's up to you, darling. Darling. Pictures with you and then we're good. Do you want to wear my shoes real quick? I kind of did, to be honest with you. I was like, fuck, I should have got the last one out here. I don't know if they'll fit, though. Oh, you guys look at that.
I'm just going to follow Marquise. There's a big chess set over there. But yeah, do you remember I brought, I think, Mazaya and Misha to a women's, well, ladies, young ladies camp. Day camp or something. One or two days. That's a fancy one. I'm actually my shoes. I got a little bit of green on them. Oh. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. With some chump change, I bet. Out. Yeah. <sighs> so yeah, the boots I got on are red, burgundy, kind of like Kara's dress and Marquise's tie. <sighs> oh, oh, look at that! I'm fucking up. <laughs> I got. Somebody stand behind, in front of it. Just you and Kara. Somebody's gonna roll an ankle in all these heels. Well, I have her high heels in my arms. There's Kara and her keys and her grandparents. That's a nice one. Get pictures over here in front. They better give him a stop it, Evan. <laughs> He's acting up. Oh, yeah. Do it again this way. There, I'll screenshot it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> there, Marquise. Evan Mills. I love it. Please. No, we're gonna do one of those bushes over. Yeah, we gotta see your shoe. This is no, this is awkward. Kiss her. No. Turn Kara. Go like somewhat sideways. I love it all. Yes. I don't like this. Yes, there you go. Give her the Simba fingerprint. Yeah. Ready? Smile right here. Love that one. That's nice. Crystal, then you get in. <laughs> Don't zoom in like that, Crystal. Yes, no, it was I know. Like that. <laughs> I think it's one, see? Like, yes, full body. That's a beautiful okay. building. They're going down here. There's a swimmer pool down there. There's Evan. Evie's daddy. Whew. I'm living vicariously through Kara going through all this. 
I never got to do all this stuff. They wasn't so fancy when we were in prom. No, I don't. I'd rather you. No, it tips. Oh, your hair looks so cool blown in the wind like that. You look like a Barbie or something. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my doves. <laughs> it's doves. Oh, I love it. Love Mom it. didn't get that. Here, that again? I got it. Yeah, Get it, I'm getting like doves? no. I forgot my doves. Oh, to let the doves go flying. I get it. Yes, queen. I'm doing video, so. Remember what your sister said. Wait, hold on. Look at Kara first. Beautiful. I love it. Beautiful couple. <laughs> yes. Oh, there's a beautiful couple. Look into each other's souls. Yeah, there you go. Go with the sun now. <laughs> oh, no, this looks bad. Well, at least the wind blowing that way. Uh, I farted. I heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do that again. I don't know. Yeah. Put your hand on his head. Yeah. Yeah. One side of his hair. Scratch his eyes. Scratch his eyes out. No, like, you know, like, just like natural. Not like, I don't know. What do you mean? No. Poke him in the eye. Yeah, I just smile and look at each other. Do what Captain Cena does to the bad guy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Head bugger. I love it. Oh, I didn't know what you were doing. If that ain't Will Smith right there, yeah. we got the fresh fucking Nikes on with a suit on. Yeah. Really, they kind of match your. You'll get in trouble. Here's a barbecue that looks like a train to me. Do it, Evan. Choo choo. Oh, <laughs> That's fancy. I need the her sandals out of here. Okay. All right. It's almost like a wedding. It's almost like a wedding, Evan. Oh, look at those friggin' stairs. All right. Okay, okay, okay. A lot of orchestrating. Okay, I'm gonna do pictures. <clears throat> well, you were holding her hand. Well, I was. I'll get a picture of that. Wait, Marcy! I, I want a picture with you. <laughs> Here, I'll take your picture. Is there any place up front you want a picture, Kara? Yeah. Do you want to get one? Will you take my Yeah. Because they, they're in a restaurant. Yeah. Because I'm tight. I will too. I'll send it. 
It's like you're a flag. No, a flag. <laughs> We're back up at the front. Look at all the people. Look at all the people. Oh, there's a little tiny baby. some pictures up front so I'm gonna follow them till they get some more pictures. <laughs> All right, we're going up to see friends. I'm just gonna be the camera person and narrate a little bit if you can hear me over the wind. But everybody looks so dapper. I'm just the camera person, Marquise. I know you're not. Yes, I am. Well, no, I just mean it's supposed to look like you're not. Oh, yeah. Video. Oh, I don't care. Yes. Memories and stuff. Okay, I'm going to switch to picture mode. Oh, I'm sorry. going to do pictures? Yeah, Okay, and I'll do video. Oh, I got bandits on my feet now. <laughs> they win. Okay, go. Take a bunch. Just keep taking yeah. them. What? Here's some more of Kara's young friends. I don't think they're going to prom, but they're friends. I'll take some. All right, we're going up to some other friends. Oh, somebody's muffler's broken. I don't I don't understand that. I really don't. No. You guys look beautiful. Yeah, one of her besties. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get one with hair. Or I mean, or you can. All right, they're done with their pictures, so now we're going to head out. Oh, 
don't they look so perfect together? Oh yes. Kara's hair though. Amazing. It looks like, I don't know, supermodel. Alright. They're heading out. They're going to come back when it's the actual dance. The dance doesn't start till 7. They're going to come back for that. Maybe not right at 7. I don't know. But um, then there's a prom party afterwards they're going to go to. They'll probably get dro driven to so they're not driving because you know the Poe's going to be out tonight. You know the Poe's going to be out tonight. All right. I'll get my big fancy top of the line truck and head home. Oh. Oh, it's warm in here. Yeah, it was really windy there. I don't know if you could hear me talking. <sighs> I took a million pictures. Everybody took a million pictures. So I'm going to send them all to Kara. So she can pick what she wants. There they go. There goes the red van. And, yeah. That was fun. Um, yeah, that was fun. So let's head home. home but I forgot to stop to the gas station downtown to get Mally an ice cream for babysitting oh. so I just brought the pups out and now I'm gonna spin down there it's just down the hill and get get her that If you don't know the song, oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Turn the lights off, strike the candle. Insatiable's my name when it comes to you. That's a good one. All right, I'm at the gas station. Snap back to reality. Oh, this is that. Well, the beach I was at with Violet the other day, it ends up coming right down to here. But you can see the tide's out. 
because sometimes I show you this and it's all the way up and you can see that deck there that wasn't there I think last time I showed you they have it there in the summer for people that go kayaking and stuff but when the tides up that's floating like it's a floating deck but I'm gonna go get some ice cream <laughs> Well, good morning guys, it's the next day, so I'm going to end. I got a coffee here, you you fellers. My coffee's right there. I don't need your bump on the table. Okay, Violet, back off. Back off. Back off. Just, you guys, take it out there. Take it out there. Wieners. Wieners. A lot of them. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. I started to do an ending on this and I'm just like I'm rambling on like I'm going to make a three day double, three day in the life combination. But this video is long enough, long enough, but it was so nice going to Kara's prom thing and just seeing, feeling all the young energy there. You could feel it, feel it right in the air. Uh, those right on the cusp of branching out into the new world. They have no idea what they're walking into. <laughs> Good, bad, and ugly, but that's life, right? And, uh, yeah. <sighs> yes. Well, actually, as I'm saying this, it's Memorial Day for you guys, so happy Memorial Day uh, to all my American friends out there. Yes. Oh, and I did take those guys for a walk. Um, have my coffee here. It's probably about 25 after 6 now. We got up early. And, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. Hey! Oi! Stop! Bump my coffee. Blasphemous. Peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. You're about to clear the GD table. I'm trying to be all peaceful here. I'm trying to be. And I'm holding the table with my hand because they were just bumping into it. Okay. Oh. Have a good night. Or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.